Hello and welcome back to Needle Lace Made Easy. Michael Dennis here again. In this video I'll show you how the filling stitch in the center of the shape is made. This stitch is known as spider's web stitch. As I said in the last video I have enough thread from working the corded single brussels on the top here to at least make the spokes if not make start the filling of this spider's web stitch. If you started a new thread and come up to G then you'll need to whip up this part of the circle to the end of this spoke. In my case I've got to whip down. So it's simply going under the cordonnet a couple of times until you reach the end of that spoke. Then whip it round again and take it across to the other side and put a double loop in there. Then whip down to A around the outside of the circle Put in another loop to secure it. And take this across on that line of the spoke. Now it's not going to be easy to get the needle up behind the cordonnet on this spoke because of all the stitching that's round here. The easiest way in this case is to come through on the top and make your double loop. Then whip around to here again working over the over and under the the coordinate make a double loop and come down the, to the bottom of the circle Make a double loop and then whip round to this point here make a double loop And finally up to this point here. Make a double loop. Now I've gone under the plastic there, which is very easy to do when working downwards so make sure you don't go under the plastic that you come on top of the plastic and 
So there are the spokes now in place ready to make our spider's web. So as we're on this leg whip down this particular leg of the spoke just a couple of stitches so you get to the middle make a buttonhole through this through the center over all the spokes and that will hold all the spokes in place while you finish doing the rest of the stitch now as we've come out on on this side you can work clockwise or anti-clockwise it's entirely up to you I'm going to go anti-clockwise I don't know why but I just am so the first thing you do is come under one spoke and pull your thread towards the center of the spoke you can use your needle to push the thread up into the into the center as you come over that one spoke you're now going to go under two spokes back one and under two so un uh, so you've gone under this one and under that one push the thread into the center and then go under this last one that you came under go under that one and the next one so you're going under two and back one under two and back one under two Keep pushing your stitches into the center. So it's back over. So it's under that one and under the next one. So it's back one. under two and just keep working around the circle back one under two just keep working around the circle in this fashion it's back one under two that's as far as I've got now and I've run out of thread if you run out of thread, I've finished on this leg here. Just whip up this leg. And under the coordinate at the end. Then run your thread through some of the couching stitches. and cut off the surplus bring your new thread up through some of the couching stitches to the inside of the circle and whip round to the next leg Remember we came out of this leg and whipped around there. This time we're just going to put one stitch under here.
whip down this leg, one stitch should do it. Then fold it back and then start again. So we're going to come under here and under two. Make sure that stitch sits on the edge of those other loops. Back one, under two. Now as you're doing these stitches, as you get towards the outside, don't pull on the spokes too much because you'll distort them. You just need enough tension to keep it, the, see the thread between the spokes. That's under this one and the next one. Under, over and under two. And carry on like this until you've got as much filled as you want to or you can fill the whole area. Now I've gone as far as I want to, I don't want it to go right to the edge so I'm finishing on this spoke here I'm going to put a couple more loops around this spoke to whip it towards the outside edge. And take it under the cordonet. The plastic's all decayed around this area so it's difficult to get it under the cordonet. Then run it off through a few catching stitches under the underneath here. And cut off surplus thread. <laughs> 